Nancy Drew, number 18, Phantom of Venice. So let's go back here. Uh, we have a mission to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Actually, you know what? Uh, hang on a second. I might as well translate her stuff. I know that you guys were helping me out quite a bit with this, but I do have my German translator boogie thing. So I'll see how well that translates here. Venice is so beautiful. I'm enjoying Carnival, but haven't yet bought my costume. I'm thinking of dressing up as a cat. So that's kind of adorable in its own way. And we'll translate this one too since we're here. The weather is wonderful. I'm thinking of you. I found a lovely car. You and Frederick can stay here when you come over next month. Nina, 99 Luft Balloon. <laughs> 99 red balloons. That's right. All right, so there you go. That's me translating that because can. And there's the lovely Helena. I really want to find out where she is and have a chat with her. Uh, now, a few of you were telling me about the uh, Easter eggs. Apparently, if I can lockpick here, maybe. I'm not sure. Somewhere around here, I can get an Easter egg. Hello, Nancy. All I right. should be running along. Yeah, I'll just Ciao. sort of leave you to your weird weirdness there. Oh, there she's there. Hello. Hello, Nancy, right? So, how do you like Venice? Oh, it's incredible. I think Venice is the most fascinating city in the world. Its history, its art, its layout. Everything about it is so rich and so beautiful and says so much about human ingenuity. I absolutely love it. Where are you from? I was born in Austria, but I'm from all over, really. England, France, Germany, and someday, Venice will be my home. Every time I come here, I make an effort to meet new people. Having friends is very important to me, you see? But I don't want to move here until I can afford my own palazzo. So, until that day, I shall have to content myself with staying here wherever I can, and as often as I can. What do you do for a living? I'm a journalist. Right now, I live in Hamburg because that's where the offices of your event magazine are. I do most of my writing for them. But I know far more about Venice than I do about Hamburg. In fact, I know more about Venice than most Venetians do. I know where the best souvenir stands are, the nicest glass shops. Yeah, I'll make you a list of the cheapest cafes. No, no, that's okay. You don't need to do that. You don't want to know where the cheapest cafes are? Are you sure you're American? I'm just not into touristy things, that's all. I see. Oh, but you could tell me what your very favorite spot in Venice is. I'd love to know that. Oh, well, let me think. That would have to be Campo San Paolo. There's something, I don't know, something very avant-garde about it that's quite charming. Hmm. Do you talk to Colin Baxter very much? I try to talk to him, but he's so focused on his work. Having a decent conversation with him is virtually impossible. Once, out of politeness, I feigned an interest in what he was doing, and the next thing I knew, he was showing you his test race slides. Yes! <laughs> they went on and on and on! <laughs> it was nightmarish. I felt like a seabird that had landed in an oil slick and couldn't fly away. The only way I could escape was to confess that I found the slides less than fascinating. <laughs> which hurt his feelings terribly, I'm afraid. But it couldn't be helped. Yeah, same thing happened to me. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. The man is obsessed, which is a shame, really. After all, he's not bad looking, and there's a touch of intrigue about him. What do you mean? Once, while he was working, his cell phone rang. He immediately left the room to take the call, but as he was leaving, he picked up by saying, this is Justin, not Colin, Justin. He's using a fake name. He's using a fake name? Either Justin or Colin. One of them's fake. So what do you think about all this phantom thief stuff? I probably shouldn't say this, but I think it's great. <laughs> a caped figure darting down walkways beside moonlit canals, melting mist-like into the shadows, escaping not with stolen money, but stolen art. It's all just so wonderfully Venetian. Wow. You condone what he's doing? No, of course not. 
It just captures the imagination, that's all. As far as crime sprees go, this one is rather refreshing. Il Fantasma hasn't physically hurt anyone, and has some very interesting ideas when it comes to what's worth stealing. In fact, it's altogether possible this phantom could turn out to be a woman. Whew, that would be a story I'd write for free. Hmm, interesting. Since you're a journalist and you're right here, aren't you tempted to write a story about this phantom thief person? As a matter of fact, I am writing a story for your vault. So, have you dug up anything juicy? This case is so huge, the police are swamped. Apparently, they've got people coming in from all over the world to help track down leads. My contacts at the police station are too busy to give me the time of day, let alone a juicy tip. However, one of my non-police sources just told me something very interesting. He said the word on the street is that the next thing the thief steals is going to be a person. He's going to kidnap someone? A very wealthy someone. At least, that's a rumor. That is kind of a crazy rumor. I should get going. It's been a pleasure. Pretty look it. Thank you. My boyfriend gave it to me. Boyfriend? You do have it all, don't you, Nancy Drew? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nancy Drew has it all. Okay, I actually like her. She's kind of cool. Hello again. Do you always wear that locket? Do you like it? It is just that... Uh... Well, when one lives in Venezia, one becomes so used to true beauty that anything less tends to stand out like uh, dirt on a white rug. Gee, thanks. My roommate, Helena Berg, does she stay here a lot? This is the first time. I met her at a party which Rosetta del Bene gave. When Helena found out where I lived, she practically begged me to let her stay here. And with Rosetta standing right there, well, I could not say no. Why was she so insistent about staying here? She said it was because the Nas Costa is so centrally located. Which it is. Outro okay. But I think it was because I am so centrally located. She is what you call a social climber. Always asking me about parties. When they are, where they are, who is invited, what should she wear, whose name should she say to get in. Que schifo! The upper class of Venezia is close to outsiders. Elena is full of bolio, this is true, but she will never be one of them. Us. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll be going. Padronissimo. Hello, Nancy. I'll talk to you later. Padronissimo. Uh, please, do not read that. Okay. I'm too far away to see anything. Where's my goggles? Argon. So what am I supposed Nancy, to? Nancy, what are you doing? Studying the architecture. That's what I want to be, an architect. So I'm kind of boning up. You Americans always busy doing something. Get annoyed. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Just watch him? <laughs> what am I waiting for? <laughs> hey, there's a birdie! This looks interesting. It was a messenger pigeon. I'd better go somewhere private and call Sophia. Okay, let's do that. He removed something from the pigeon's leg. You are positive? Yes, he removed something, kind of studied it, then left the office. Maybe he is using a trained pigeon to communicate with someone. Yes, this could be true, because we know that by phone he talks to almost no one. Here is what we will do. I will deliver to you a tracking device. You will sneak into Fango's office when he is not there and feed it to the pigeon. After that, you can use your PDA to see in what direction it has flown. 
You want me to feed a tracking device to a pigeon? It will be very, very tiny. But I do not want to leave it at the ATM. If you go there too much, people will get suspicious. So we will leave it for you in the costume store in Campo Santa Maria Famosa. It will be hidden among the things there. You will have to find it. How will I know what it looks like? Very soon, I will send a picture of it to your PDA. But you must locate the device quickly. If you do not find it in time, it will destroy itself. If that happens, we will hide another device. Your PDA will show you where we have hidden it. You oh. want me to feed a tracking device that self-destructs to a pigeon? The self-destruct mechanism will automatically deactivate when you pick it up. And do not worry. The device will not hurt the pigeon after it is swallowed. Well, then I guess I'm on my way to Campo Santa Maria Formosa. After you have fed the tracking device to the pigeon, you must do two things. You must find out where the pigeon goes when it leaves Fongos, and you must discover what it is carrying. Call me when you know these things. Ciao! Alright, more spy action. More spy action indeed. Uh, let's go. Okay, Capo de San Paulo. Hello, Club Michi. I'd probably get in trouble if I picked these. I can't read this. All right, we'll translate it. Dancers wanted. Oh, Nancy, should you be a dancer? Yes, you should. If you're here for the dance audition, take a look at the dance instruction book. When you think you're ready, put the cat suit on and get on stage. Okay. Oh no, what is this all about? What the heck is this? Uh, all right. Well, I mean, obviously I didn't. You're good enough. You can keep the suit and come by anytime you want. And dance some tips. Oh, and if you're not here for the edition, beat it. When the music starts, you start. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? You're awful. <laughs> Terrible. Nice. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not even trying. Lasers. What is with this cat? I don't think so. This is crazy. Terrible. Are they going to like yank me off stage? I'm not making any tips doing this, am I? Bravissima! Bravissima? What the heck was that supposed to be? Bravo? I don't think so! Good? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done dancing. How do I get out of here? Go away! Oh, never mind. I'm being thrown off the stage. And don't even think about taking that costume with you! Wow. Okay, no, let's no, no, see no. what you got. Get me out of here. I didn't want to be here. I need to escape. Oh, no. You're awful. Woohoo! Terrible. Bravissima. You're awful! Oh my goodness.
You're awful. I just want to get off stage. I don't want to be terrible. Here. I'll do this when I have more time to study the book. Uh uh. Uh uh. You're awful. Fine, kick me off. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Nancy the cat dancer. Terrible. It is terrible. Yeah, you go, go. <laughs> you go, go girl. Away. All right, fine. Well, that was. And don't even think about taking that costume with you. So clearly, I'm gonna have to come back and master that and get the costume. Uh, did I not go to the right place? No, I, I actually did not go to the right place. Oh well. That's okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get Bruno. Liviane dolci fremiti che suscita l'amore, poiché quell'occhio al cuore ogni potente fa. Liviamo amore, amore fra i codici più caldi baciavra. Ah, ah, sì! <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's go to the store here. Costume store. Uh, hey, look, that's the dude from the last game. Whoop. What? What happened there? Messages. Nancy, you have tracked the pigeon. No, but Please, I. Please, Nancy, I'm very busy. Do not call me until you have done what I told you to do. Retrieve the tracking device. Feed it to Fango's pigeon. Find out where it goes and see what it is carrying. I am sorry, but right now that is all I want to know. Ciao. Okay. So, how do I get this? What is all this stuff anyways? It's kind of expensive. I think I messed up, but... Let's go here. Let's see if there's any new books for us to buy. Aha! Not sure why I need that book, but I got that book. Which pages? It's in German, I just realized. Thank you for translating. Okay. Bonk. Can I go to the bonk? I need a card. I have a card. Let's go to the bonk. Nothing here for me to do. We'll exit the bonk. <laughs> All that cat dancing's got me a little bit uh, tired. Okay, so how do I find this thing? Uh, pigeon bog, Felina's Rialto Market. So, how do I get that to the market? Hmm. Can't remember where, where that mar. Oh, right there. Okay, cool. Take the cheap route. <laughs> we already had way too much fun. Okay, so let's have another look. Wait, I can't see it again? 
Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to talk. Okay, so where am I supposed to find this thing now? It doesn't look like I can do anything in here. Oh, come on. That's I didn't even mean to do that. Ugh. You know what? Time for me to have some ice cream. Green, yellow, red. Ice cream. Green. Yellow, red. Mm. Delicious. Totally delicious. You know what? We're going to have another one. Red, yellow, green. No, oh, red, white, green. Red. White. Green. There is the... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So tasty good. That was uh, some hungry work there. Now, where is the Easter egg? Where is it? I heard it. Oh, there it is. Awesome. We have our first Easter egg. And this is where we will take a break and we'll have more cat dancing and more crazy, crazy adventures of Nancy Drew. I'm your Gibbs and thank you all for watching.